so I'm just, you know, cleaning out my closet, listing stuff on my Poshmark app. If you guys want to learn more about that, then just keep watching! Just keep watching! Just keep watching! <sighs> Gross. Laundry pile. I have so much stuff to do. It's so exhausting. So I'm deciding if I need three ja three jean jackets or not. Cause I have this one from Zara. It's like down to here, and I'm obsessed. But I don't know if I should keep any of the short ones, cause that's all. The, that's the only one I wear anymore. Look at my sparkling. Is it sparkling? No. Wait. I hit it with the light. Is it? Mm-hmm. Sparkle, sparkle! Okay. So, I wanted one of my, I wanted to keep one of my short jackets because I'm going to bedazzle it. Ow. Should I show you what I'm going to do to it? That sounds horrible. It's amazing, actually. You should not. I'm going to show you, actually. Uh, that one looks like the prime candidate for bedazzling. Yeah. And this is kind of a sentimental jacket for me. Is it? Why? Because the Women's Choice Awards show, they gave it to us. I'm that... Girl. Oh, it's like a special edition? Yeah. Levi partnered up with them. This isn't just a jacket. It's a promise of responsibility and an opportunity to stand for something bigger than ourselves. It's a reminder that we are in this together. That we have beautiful minds and brilliant hearts. And that we're perfectly flawed. And that our voice matters and that we are enough. I'm that girl. Do you want me to read the rest? Blame. <laughs> you sexist bastard! <laughs> I'm that girl is a community, a support system, and a movement inspiring girls to love, express, and be exactly who they are. We are shifting girl culture, raising the standards for how we treat ourselves, each other, and how the world treats us. Made for I'm that girl by the guys. Do you like it? I would applaud, but I have to hold the camera. Okay. Anyways. Next. Okay. No, I need to show you what I'm gonna do with the jacket. Let's see, the dazzle. Should I? Say, what is it? Crystal, crystal, jean jacket. Guys, we're all gonna do this to our jean jackets. Okay. That's why I have to sell my stuff on Poshmark so I can afford the crystals. Oh, like look at this. I want to get some of these, you know, and do that to like the, I'm going to do that to my jacket. There are all these crystal shops. So which one do I do but, it to? Do I do it to that one or I not? don't know. All of those, none of those are like small. Those are all like oversized, oversized? ones. That's what I was thinking. So do I have to sell, but I kind of like that one for it. If it's the oversized one, it's got to be like the kind of cut and style of your, of your ripped oversized okay. one. Which I like think those are different I think I found one styles. on Poshmark actually, but it was like oh, so expensive. Oversized denim. Gee, I can't. Okay, so I'm really stressed out. I'm getting ready to go on a trip, and then I'm getting ready to go to Chicago next week. In two weeks, whatever. It's coming up really fast, so. I wanted new outfits, but before I buy new outfits, I need to sell some stuff. I need to get rid of stuff. Not necessarily just sell it, but I just need to do a closet clean out. Okay, so I like haven't cleaned my closet out since I was like 15. I don't know. It's been a while. So I need to do that before I go shopping again. So awesome doesn't kill me. Just kidding. I run, I run this house. I make the rules. What are you laughing at? You know that's the truth. Okay. But yeah, so, like a few weeks ago, my friend Dania, we were talking about buying and selling and stuff. What, Layla? I want water. My one. Take two. <laughs> so anyways, as I was saying, take three. <laughs> as I was saying. Oh yeah, so Dania and I were having a conversation. If you guys don't know who Dania is, she's my BFF. But we were talking about, I don't remember what we were talking about, and then we 
Poshmark came up and she's like, oh my god. I was like, I've seen it around a lot, but you know when you don't know if things are like legit and stuff. So I was like, she was telling me she is on there all the time and she loves it. And then I, I looked up the oversized denim jacket and I found it on there and I was like, okay, Poshmark's legit. Anyways, if you guys don't know what Poshmark is, it is an app that you can download for free. I will have a link down below that you can download. Why are you out of account. breath? Because <laughs> I'm <laughs> running up the stairs. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Anyways, Poshmark's a free app that you can download on your phone. Super user friendly. Um, there will be a link down below where you can download it. They verify like all their luxury items and make sure that it's legit. They have... You can buy and sell on there. So yeah, I'm going to clean out my closet and sell some things. Or attempt to sell some things. Hopefully you guys like the stuff I'm selling and you like make an offer. But like one of the things I wanted to sell was these shoes. Layla, I think, wore them once in the house. But like they're so clean. And they're so cute. But for some reason she hated shoving her ankles into these shoes. But they're brand new. So I threw them up on Poshmark. There's this one. There's this. I gained too much weight to wear this again. I kind of like an oversized feel. I don't know why I bought a size small. But after I washed it, it kind of got really tight. So this is good for someone that's super skinny. Because I'm not. I don't know. When I, when I wear sweaters, I want them to be like baggy now. So, yeah, I put that, I threw that up there. I don't even know, I probably wore it once. Literally once. And then never again. So, I've been loving wearing these pencil skirts to events. Like, fancy makeup events. Um, but, I was, this one, I don't know, it's, it's, it's from Nude Collection from this company, but it's like super yellow nude. Maybe, I feel like this would look good on someone that's tan and darker, like richer skin tone. But on me, it like washes my skin out. Don't you think, Asa? It's like too, yeah, I, I don't guess. know. Yeah, I don't like the yellow color. I know what you mean. But I'm gonna throw this up there too, probably. Um, yeah, but the, you can find like Adidas, Matt, they, you can buy and sell, you can buy and sell makeup. There's a lot of MAC products on there. Louis Vuitton, there's a ton of Louis Vuitton, and I know it's all authenticated, I'm pretty sure. Um, what else? A lot of Nike, Michael Kors, you know, just a lot of good brand names on there. I have this amazing dress that I got made to wear to my friend's wedding. But I think I want to wear it one more time before I give it up. But yeah. Really pretty. So I'll eventually be selling it on Poshmark as well. Anyways, I also listed this tool skirt, this long tool skirt. I wore it for like to take pictures in. That's it. But I feel like this would look really good on someone that's like elegant and girly. Because that's not me! <laughs> so yeah. Um, I also listed this brand new, I've never used this, not even once, not even for a picture, not even. I always thought I'd wear this, but I never did, and I don't think I'll ever will because it's been sitting it? in my closet. It's a Vela scarf, brand new Vela, it's a jersey knit, it's got the zipper edge, so yeah. But yeah, there will be a link down below where you can sign up with Poshmark, and it's just a free app, and you should create your own closet can always clean out stuff and just list it. Um, I know they do take a percentage, but it's nothing crazy. And the shipping's already paid for. All you do is print out the label when you sell something and just take it and drop it off. Super easy. And I was that was the part I was freaking out the most about. Was like when I sell stuff, I thought I'd have to like, I don't know, like do so much more. But then I read and all you do is they send you an email with the label and you print it out and stick it on the box and you go! Which is really cool. Alright, so this is the Poshmark app. It's this little red thing. 
Um, you can go to my closet and see all the stuff I've listed so far. I'm going to be adding more and more as I go through my crazy closet. But yeah. And then you have like people that follow you. I mean, you can make a real business out of this app, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I follow one person, but I need to find all my friends on here. And I need to put a picture. I put a picture, but I don't know where it, where it went. But yeah, so these are just a few of the items that I have on there. And the shipping's um, $6 for one, one to three days. And you can buy buyer protection, there's a refund policy, all that stuff. So yeah, super easy. Look, I need to find that oversized denim jacket, let me see. That's what's cool about sites like these, is things that are discontinued, they don't make anymore, you'll find them on stuff like this. Ooh, like this one, look at that. It's so cool, it's distressed. Oh, I can like it. It's $90 though. But, yeah, that's my closet so far. Gonna be putting up more stuff. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd tell you guys about that. Moving on to the makeup. I got some new makeup products that, new makeup, cleaning makeup products, because I'm leaving tomorrow for a little trip. And I need to, oh yeah, you wanna see my closet? <laughs> These are my bras, you can't see them! <laughs> but, I mean, I still have boxes of hijabs that I need to go through. It's not organized yet. Uh, I just don't like dealing with clothes. Like, I need to hire someone, like my sister or something to come. For the most part, I have it organized. Like, these are my short sleeves. You know, color. For the most part, things are color-coded. I need like little bins for like my underwear and socks. That's what's on the floor right now. Um, it's a mess. Sorry. But I have like stuff in here. Like this is so cute. Awesome, you love it. Yeah, that thing's cool. But I don't know if I'll ever wear it again. Where are Why? Wearing this? I don't know. But this is a potential Poshmark item. It's so cool though. I don't know. Yeah, why would you not wear that? I'll wear it like this. That's a great look. Is it? No. I look like I'm a... What are those... You look like a dog that just had surgery. No, what are those... <laughs> no. <laughs> That's if you wear it like this. <laughs> Either what way. What are those um, plant eating... Venus flytrap? Yes! I look like a Venus flytrap! I'm gonna Venus your flytrap. That sounds so dirty. <laughs> Gross! Like, I have this scarf that, I don't know, I feel like I should wear at least one. Simply Venus sent it to me like a long time ago. And I just, I guess I've never, like it's kind of a weird green to be honest. It's not like an army green, which I really like, but I don't know, I might throw this up there. Just because I never wear this that often, but it's kind of cool, right? I also have these skirts that I thought I would totally wear. They're like, um... Really nice. They're by a Val Apparel, which I love her so much. But like, they're so long on me. I'm such a shorty, literally. Short. Super short. And they're high waisted. They're super cute. So I don't know. Comment in the links down below if you guys would be interested in these. If not, I really don't want to let them go, but I, <laughs> I never wear them. Or you could, guys, you can comment on my Poshmark closet and tell me. If you guys would like to see more of my stuff on there. So yeah, download the app for free from my link below. Okay, okay. I don't get anything from it. It's just you guys get to, you know, explore Poshmark. We can be on this journey together. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the other day I was at Target. And I saw all these new Sonia Keshuk products because she got rid of her, all her makeup line and she only does, she focuses on tools, cleaning products for your tools, and lashes. So I'm always on the hunt 
for a Treeper alternative to the Cinema Secrets. I get the Cinema Secrets bottles, usually what I clean my brushes with. And um, I've been using like this Walmart laundry detergent to clean my beauty blenders with. It's called Zoti Soap, I think. I don't know. It's a big thing on YouTube. But yeah, it's only a dollar. But I, technically, I think it's a laundry detergent, so... Yeah. So there, I found this, the Sonia Keshek Makeup Brush and Sponge Cleansing Balm. So I thought I'd do like a first impressions with you guys. And then this is a makeup brush cleansing spray. This says, this cleansing spray helps maintain the beauty of your makeup brushes. Wait, but how do you use it? Hold bottle six inches away from your brush, spray evenly onto brush heads, gently swirl the brush head onto a paper. Okay. I wonder what the difference is. Okay, so I also got this one, which I... I cheated and I already used this one because I really wanted to try it. But this one's amazing. This is the Sonia Kesha Quick Clean Dry Brush Spray. That's why I don't get what the difference is between the Makeup Brush Cleansing Spray and the Quick Clean Dry Brush Spray. I think this one's like $18, but it's amazing and it's perfect for travel. All you do is like spray um, the brush and it gets everything out. But I wanted to try this for my beauty blenders and stuff. So yeah, we're going to do that right now. Ooh, it smells good. It smells, it smells good. It smells really good. Um, I don't know how I feel about this guy. I think you just like. Um, my sink's kind of dirty right now because I've been washing brushes. And, yeah. But this is my favorite foundation brush. It's by Sigma. It's the Edge Kabuki. I'm gonna wet the brush, swirl it in there. I don't think I'll ever use that thing. The big test, I think, will be if it cleans the beauty blender. I don't know. See, it's not really cleaning it. Is it? I don't know. I can't tell. It's not really lathering because it's a balm. Yeah, I don't think it's working. Is it? It's taking too long. Let me guys show you what I've been using. We'll see the difference. So this is what I normally use. This is the end of the Zoti brush cleansing bar. Because really, who uses it for detergent anymore? Just kidding. Pretty sure Mex this is a Mexican thing. Yeah, see? This one's working. I think. I don't know. Maybe it's just the foundation that I put in the brush. Oh. The only problem with it, using that one is you kind of get a film on your hands after a while. See, and it's still like embedded in there. So, I don't know. That's when I have to go in and actually use the, um, the Cinema Secrets one because it really just pulls the oil. Dirty Beauty Blender. Let's swirl it around in there. Oh, I don't like it. No, it's not working. Because watch, if I do the Zoti one with this one, it's going to take it right out. See, it's already gone. So yeah, that was a fail. It was an epic fail. Okay, don't buy the Sunday Keshek cleansing balm. And now I'm going to see if that other one works. The sprays. I like sprays more anyway. You really can control. I just don't use sprays for foundation brushes. Like, I can use them for eyeshadow brushes. Foundation brushes are a no-no. Okay, so I already know this one works phenomenally. This is my little traveling case that I take when I'm on trips. It's a little excessive. Don't judge me. So we're going to put this one to the test. This is the one I haven't tried yet. This is the Makeup Brush Cleansing Spray. It's in this scent rose water as well. Towels from the dollar store work. We bought a bunch of towels when our fish tank leaked. And then we didn't use like half of them and there's never a ton of them. So that's what I've been using. Because they're just like really cheapy. Like the ones that don't really dry your body. I hate those ones. But I'll just take um, the spray. And drench the brush on there. That one worked pretty well. 
My biggest thing that I'm looking for when I'm using a brush cleaner is that it dries quickly. Ooh, ooh, it, it's got a nice scent. I like um, a brush cleaner to kind of have a little oily residue. I think this has an oil, some kind of oil in it. Yeah, it does. Oh, wow, it's leaking, though. I don't like that. Look, it's leaking all over. Ew, I don't like that. That's the only downside. Okay, so you can't travel with that one, even though they make the travel size in that one. I love this one because it's, it's just a constant spray. So easy. And then... dry it's it'll dry in like two seconds and then it's clean so yeah this is the route to go so this is what I mostly do for like eyeshadow brushes stuff like this and I like to do it on a white towel to make sure that all the color is off because if you do it on a colored towel ooh, that bottle is leaking so much my whole hand is drenched oh look if I lock it I wonder if it leaks oh my ooh, god did you see that yeah so yeah, I'm gonna clean all these brushes, go pack. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I have a ton of videos that I just need to edit. Like a ton of vlogs. I filmed my birthday, but I feel like that was so long ago, so I shouldn't upload that one. I don't know, comment down below if you feel like you still want to see like past, what is it, like a month ago? I don't know, comment down below if you think that I should upload like my birthday vlog. But um... We have a really fun one where it's just me and you for when we bought the waffle maker. Um, also, an update, I'm going to be in Chicago the April 13th through the 15th for the first American Halal Lifestyle Festival, which is super exciting because we've needed something like this. You know, there's always been Isna, but Isna's like, you know, it kind of attracts a certain crowd, like really conservative Muslims, and like, I feel like us millennial Muslims need like something fun you know we're always going to like beauty con complex con you know imats and stuff but this event is kind of gonna bring every all muslims together and everyone i mean you don't have to be muslim to attend the event it's just it's just gonna be like a fun convention i'm doing two makeup classes one on saturday the 14th and one on sunday the 15th so it's gonna I, it, it's really exciting for me because it's my first time also really nerve-wracking <laughs> You know, I've never done it before, so I hope if you guys are in the Chicago area or if you live nearby that you can come. Um, there will be a link down below for where you can buy tickets to that. And I'm bringing the whole fam bam, like Moma's coming, Layla's coming, so you, you guys will be able to meet Layla in person. Um, I feel like most people are going to be most excited about that, because she's such a trip and you should be excited about that <laughs> um, but yeah the whole family's coming so they'll be able to meet all of us and they're gonna have like fashion shows um, panels not lectures but panels with like people our age and peers and just talking about all different kinds of stuff um, there's also a really fun party the Thursday which is I believe the 12th it's like a VIP party that you can buy tickets to it is sponsored by Il Muslims I've never been to an Il Muslims party <laughs> But I'm sure we all know and have heard of it. So I'm really excited to go with Asif to one. <laughs> That'll be fun. Um, so you guys should come. And um, it's $5 for the whole weekend just to get in. But if you want to participate in the master class and the fashion show and other stuff that costs, that's going to be a different, separate ticket. Um, if you buy my master class ticket, that gives you entry in for the whole weekend. So that's really cool. It's not expensive. I believe my masterclass tickets are going to be for $25, but the link will be down below if you guys are interested. Again, that is going to be in Chicago, Illinois, April 13th through the 15th. So I hope to see you all there. Um, so yeah, I should get going. I should start packing because, you know, I leave like in like three hours. So until next time. Thanks for staying subscribed. If you guys aren't subscribed, you should subscribe because, you know, I'm having a lot of fun on this channel um, when I do upload. <laughs> but yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Inshallah, as long as you Alright, and don't forget, the Poshmark link will be down below. 
in the description box. A lot of links will be down below, but definitely check out Poshmark. You know, it's a really fun, free, easy to buy and sell app. And yeah, I'd love to see your guys' closets. So if you guys do make one, comment on my closet and I'll follow you. Okay, until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Also, their boob flaps. That's so going in the video. <laughs> <laughs> they were perfectly positioned. Such a freak. Is that inappropriate? Yes. Oh my.